Hello everyone, welcome to ASOP. As everyone is aware that the budget has already been presented for the 2023 and 2024 by our Honorable Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Today we will discuss the list of full list of scheme announced in the budget. This will be helpful for the preparing for the UPSC and also the state PCS exam and other exam. The first and the most important schemes of the project 2023 is Mahila Samanth uh, Samanth uh, that is what saving certificate. The first scheme is the Mahila Samanth saving certificate. Now this is a small saving scheme. जो दे अगर हम इसको देखेंगे तो ये एक small saving scheme है uh, which is announced by our Honorable Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman on Wednesday. Budget पे announced किया गया with a fixed interest rate uh, at 47.5 percent for the uh, coming two years that means uh, the duration of the scheme would be two years at the fixed rate that is the 7.5 interest rate the deposit can be made in the name of a woman or a girl child so this is very specified you have to remember it can be deposit for but in the name of woman or a girl child of the family the maximum deposit amount can be, can be up to 2 lakhs this would be what up to 2 lakhs this would be up to 2 lakhs the scheme will have a sparse partial withdrawal facilities as well so these are the key feature if i go through the key feature of the will and uh, sorry that is the word scheme that this would be for the tenure would be two years fixed uh, that is interest rate 7.5 deposit in the name of woman and uh, it would be girl child as well both maximum deposit 2 lakhs you can also withdrawal that is what partially withdrawal facilities also there one time new small saving so this would be one time payment and new small saving mahila sanman that is what saving patra that would be there so deposit facilities for the women and girl child will be the period of two years at a rate of 7.5 percent that is the now announced in this budget so what would be the benefit of this budget the budget is that there would be small saving what it would be the small saving will increase that will increase and also the mahila sanman uh, that is what saving patra or this certificate the saving certificate will promote the what i would say woman empowerment that will promote the woman empowerment and also the small saving will increase in the economy so that the money would be used in a circular way for the promoting to growth and development of the nation the next important scheme of the budget for the 2023 and 2024 is the word aspirational block program aspirational districts so already it was there uh, aspirational districts program already it was there now this time they have come up with new uh, that is initiative and the scheme that is the block so Srimati Sitaraman informed that the building on the success of the aspirational districts program the government has recently launched the aspirational block program this is also very important because that will cover 500 blocks for what saturation of essential government services across the multiple domains like health nutrition education agriculture water resources financial inclusion skill development and basic infrastructure so under this program or under this scheme that is the block aspirational block program where the priorities will be given to the health and uh, to be very precise this would be implemented uh, aspirational block program initially it would be 500 blocks later on they can increase this one to the other as well so the priority areas will be given health, nutrition, education, agriculture, water resource, financial inclusion, development and basic infrastructure like roads, electricity, all these things will be taken care of the aspirational block. So what would be the benefit of the aspirational block? The benefit would be that as we have got the taste of the aspirational districts, uh, success taste of this particular aspirational districts. So we are hoping to have the, this one also the model can be implemented for the developing the block level and that will also reduce the disparities uh, which would be what in the intrastate as well it would be what intrastate i will say the intrastate 
regional disparity could be reduced and through the what as you know both that is about aspirational districts program and the aspirational block program they will reduce the interested regional disparity and hence the every region will have opportunity to grow that can arrest the migration that can also help the per capita income and the regional inequalities will be reduced so that the regional uh, i'll say the extra extreme uh, regionalism and uh, also to apply the maoist uh, uh, most all these sort of I would say but extreme uh, steeps can be reduced as well so and they can be bring uh, but brought to the mainstream of the society as well that would be the benefits and overall that would be in the nation building program as well at India at 100 so that is the Amritka so to achieve that Amritka and to give something new to the India this is one of the best program I would say in this project 500 blocks with priority areas. Now the three, the scheme number three, that is Pradhan Mantri PVTC Development Mission. PVTC is the particular vulnerable tribal group that is they are also known as the tribe within the tribes. So we are having 73 PVTCs out of which the Odisha is having the highest and the Andhra Pradesh is followed by the Andhra Pradesh. So PVTCs is the particularly vulnerable, vulnerable tribes. Those are the most downtrodden sections among the tribal peoples or the tribal section in the India. They are spread spreaded across the 18 states in India, and uh, the total number stands 73. So out of that, the PVTGs as they are the most vulnerable. So that is why this time the budget in the budget 2023, uh, the light has been thrown for the development of the PVTGs in the 2023 and the 2024. The mission will launch what will uh, let's say socio-economic and uh, condition would be vulnerable section of the travel people that would be enhanced. This uh, will saturate the families of the PBTGs, habitation, basic facilities such as the word housing. The, that means the Pradhan Mantri PBTGs will ensure that the basic needs like the housing, drinking water, clean drinking water, sanitation, improve the child education, healthcare, nutrition, road telecommunication and connectivity as well, sustainable livelihood opportunities like uh, income, all these things and an amount of 15,000 crore would be made available for the implementing the mission in the next coming three years under the development action plan for the scheduled tribes. Simati Sitaraman announced that the next three years the center will recruit 38,800 teachers and the support staffs for the 740 Ekalavya model residential school as well serving 3.5 lakhs tribal students as well. So this one is, this is also used to be, I would say this is one of the most important scheme of the budget 2023 and 2024 if you go through because that will also reduce the regional disparity and to be very honest that will also give the opportunity for them as well to grow and to uh, be the part or the, to be the part of the mainstream of the society as well because you know that migration, stunting, uh, wasting, and what illiteracy are very frequent prevalent including all that uh, I would say ammonia and drinking water facilities they are having the least availabilities of it. So this scheme that is the Pradhan Mantri PPTs will definitely help and uh, uh, if you are going through this scheme that will help you write uh, writing AC, good AC and uh, also GS uh, it will comes under the G governance paper, uh, GS paper 2 and they can also ask you in GS uh, what I would say uh, paper 2 basically they will ask you in the GS paper to governance part okay and also you can write in the essay and interview those who are going to appear the interview as well for the UPSC and they will also the getting benefit out of this so here you are getting what 38,800 teachers will be recruited with 740 a model residential schools and 3.5 lakhs tribal students that is also going to be huge uh, also benefited for the tribal section then we are having the fourth uh, important scheme that is the what govardhan scheme the sitaraman announced that 500 new waste to wealth plant under the govardhan that is the galvanizing organic bio agro resources dhan the scheme will be established promoting the circular economy this is very important the circular economy like uh, uh, some months of the years uh, some months of 
back we heard about the circular plastic as well so this is also the circular economy that means the waste would be now converted into the wealth that would be useful and that would be also for the growth of the i would say that particular region as well so this will include this will include what 200 compressed biogas plant including 75 plant in the urban areas 300 community or the cluster based plant at the total investment of 10000 crore so that means it would be what also the waste to wealth as well as that will also in, uh, raise the income of that particular section of the society or that particular area as well that will enhance the per capita income of that people of uh, those who are engaged in the rural economy because even like more than 55 or 50 percent that is the indian population is engaged in agriculture agriculture contributes like 17 to 18 percent to your gdp as well and in the rural economy that contributes more than 70 percent that is the agriculture scenario if i go through and now india is producing more than 315 million tons of food grains which is the highest ever india has produced so india is now the food sufficient as well now one of the problem is that the uh, what i would say the pollution the pollution one of the biggest challenge is coming off for the india and uh, being a nation and i would say for the government as well uh, so that is why this is also one of the scheme that a government scheme that the farmer can uh, be also what capable and they would be given the what assistance finance and assistance so that the, they can establish the plant and the crop residual part that could be used for the converting the what it would be biogas so that would be also enhancing and the sustainable agriculture i would say this will promote the what sustainable agriculture with enhancing the farmer income as well and the decreasing the pollution at the level as well so that will be also one of the game changing for the farmer that will be as we are having we heard some year back that the government also announced that farmer income would be double uh, by the 2022 this is also going to uh, this would be in the direction as well she said in the due course as 5% of that is the what I would say compressed uh, biogas mandate will be introduced for the all organization marketing uh, natural and the biogas for the collection of the biogas and distribution of the bio manure and the appreciate fiscal support will be provided that means bio manure that is as I, I was talking about the sustainable that is the Param Pragat Krishi Yojana you can also connect this program to the Param Pragat Krishi Yojana to the sustainable farming for the uh, what uh, reducing the carbon uh, in the agriculture because agriculture sector is one of the largest producer of the carbon dioxide and the greenhouse gases as well so you can add in a different angle like uh, you can put it uh, in the income of the farmers how the farmer income will be increased how farmer uh, how agriculture would be sustainable in india how to reduce the carbon uh, i would say what greenhouse gases as well and ultimately the government is having the target to raise the income of the farmer so that they uh, will have the opportunity to increase the power capital income and to reduce the pressure from the farmer and the distress as well the next uh, coming uh, uh, sorry this would be fifth this would be fifth that is the what Vartya Prakrit Kheti Bio Input Resource Center the finance minister announced uh, that uh, announced that the last uh, over the last uh, Oh, sorry over the what next three years the center will facilitate one crore farmer to adopt the natural farm so bharatiya prakrit kheti bio input resource center in the next coming three years that will promote the natural farming or i would say the sustainable development in that line you can also write that india is having the target that is the net zero target service that is about 2070 so in uh, you can also write and connect uh, to that point also and the sustainable agriculture from the Yojana and greenhouse gases how to reduce the greenhouse gases how to make the, our farmers more sustainable and more climate resilient as well uh, for this 10,000 bio input resource center will be set up creating a national level distributed micro fertilizer and the pesticide manufacturing network as well the finance minister said the said that in the further runs of the vehicle scarping policy mentioned in the budget 2021 and 2022 C has allocated adequate fund to scarf the old vehicles as well so 
for the replacing the new vehicles and ambulance so this one is the added part to this so okay keep it aside this one but you have to concentrate on this one so there is about to promote the natural farming set of uh, the center will uh, 10,000 bio input resource center could be what establish pesticide manufacturing networks micro fertilizer this would be the benefit out of that the scheme having the sort I will say what provisions the provision like micro fertilizer pesticide manufacturing 10,000 by input resource centers now the next one is this would be obviously the number will change the PM Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman the PM Vikas the artisans are uh, we are we are very known that this is the age old uh, practice that Indian artisans they have been providing uh, the wood uh, and they are known for the beautiful craft and uh, their skill as well around the world it's not in India around the world the artisan provides a financial assistance under the PM Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman scheme the new scheme will enable the artis uh, artisans to improve their product sale quality reach and integrating them into the MSME value chain that means the I would say this would be inclusive uh, budget because of this by keeping in the mind that is PM Vishwakarma Kaushal Samman PM Vikas where, where uh, why I'm saying is that that uh, what I when I go uh, when uh, I was going to the budget speech of Sitaraman uh, honorable finance minister of India so I found that the scheme or the budget was having all around focus that means every section was given ample opportunity and the targeted as well so like PM when I go through this one there is the word PM Vishwakarma Koshal Samman scheme that means government has or government is focusing every section of the society like the artisan is one of the section how to improve their product quality their scales the quality uh, how to production the scale as well reach integrating them into the MSME as well so that our uh, artisan section of the society they will get the benefit out of that the next important scheme is what Atma need for horticulture clean plant forum this would be launched for the boost of the availability and quality of the disease free planting materials for the high value horticulture crops with an outlet of 2200 crore so that the 40 uh, what I would say the horticulture will improve and obviously it would be disease free planting material the next is the green credit program so green credit program will be launched under the environment protection act to encourage the behavioral change this is also very important the behavioral change this can be uh, one of the what potential question in the coming years as well the green credit program uh, to what I would say encourage the behavioral change it would be incentivized environmentally responsible and sustainable action by the individual this is very important by the individual companies and the local bodies and help to mobilize the traditional resource for such activities green credit program will be launched for the under the environmental protection act when there is a behavioral change so this one is focused on the behavioral change where it will incentivize the environmental responsible sustainable action by the individual companies local bodies all these things so this is also very important that means the climate also given importance so obviously and the climate change is at the doorstep and everyone is experiencing like the new zealand is experiencing a severe flood whereas the afghanistan's more than 500 people died out of the severe cold storm and snowfall as well then pm pranam the program for the restoration awareness nourishment and that is what amelioration of the mother earth so this is very important scheme again for the sustainable development and for the environmental conservation and the environmental improvement as well will be launched to incentivize the state and the UTs to promote the balanced use of the chemical fertilizer and alternative fertilizer as well that means this is the word sustainable farming indirectly the PM pranam is talking about the sustainable farming and to uh, what uh, reduce the synthetic fertilizer uh, which is being used in the agriculture and to move towards the bio fertilizer towards the what organic fertilizer and the compost as well so that that would be environmental friendly agriculture 
and eutrophication greenhouse gases blue one babies or the blue babies and uh, that will reduce so that that means the burden on the environment burden on the water pollution air pollution soil pollution all this happens because of the what excess use of the fertilizer and the synthetic fertilizer as well that can be changed by using the alternative fertilizer like i will say that is the what compost by compost uh, and uh, like it would buy a fertilizer as well next we, uh, that is what Amrit Dharohor. This is also one of the again for the environment, the wetland conservation. So here it, we are uh, the, one of the crucial point is here, here the wetland and the crucial ecosystem to be sustained biological diversity. The government will promote the conservation of the values of the locals towards the waste uh, that is wetland uh, through the Amrit Dharohor scheme. That means under this scheme, the attention is given for the conservation of the wetland because wetlands are known as the kidney of the earth that recycles the nutrient and the what nutrient uh, i would say what nutrient and also the other things as well and uh, particularly if you you know okay i believe you have gone through the environmental parts as well and the environment so where we know the wetland gives us goods and services number of services is provided by the wetland the scheme will be implemented over the next three years to enhance the carbon stock. That means the more carbon stock, uh, it would be surface and particularly in form of the green, green carbon stock, I would say green carbon stock, biodiversity and income generation for the local communities and the ecotourism opportunity. This is also very important ecotourism to encourage the optimal use of the wetland. So this is all about the important schemes. So once again, don't forget to like subscribe and share okay that will increase me for making the videos like this so thank you everyone and once again thank you for the rest of and watching our channel please do subscribe share and like thank you all